Welcome back. We just installed Eclipse Mars G2SC. Uh, has no it has no other software that's installed along with it. Um, you get basic stuff. So if I go to Window, um, Show Perspective, excuse me, Show View, I do have a bunch of other stuff. I have a Git provider, I believe. Um, let's take a look. I should have a Git provider. Yeah, I do have a Git, repo or Git provider, so I, I do have some basic plugins that Eclipse needs to just have the function. So it's not like this is a completely bare install. You do have some other things with it. In the meantime, uh, it doesn't have some things. There's some things we have to install manually. One of them is a UML diagrammer, or a diagram tool. Um, I have a link posted in Sakai, but I'll walk you through the installation. If you go to... Um, Fuzzbox, Blogspot, how to generate UML diagrams. There we go. This is this is how all plugins are installed in Eclipse. It's it's sort of the same process. Um, when when a tool when a uh, provider has a tool to publish, they'll publish it and they'll have an update site that it's available. So I'm gonna grab this URL. Now if I went out to this URL, if I went out to it, it's it's probably gonna describe. Let's see what it looks like. I bet you it's uh. Oh boy. Okay, let's see what happens if I try to install this. Actually, let's see. If I get to install new software, not that. Install new software. Okay. Very good. Okay, so it's this is Object Aids UML Explorer. Now, some of the, one of these is free. The other two are. are required to purchase the diagram add-on and the sequence diagram. I don't want those. I just want the uh, object aid class diagram. Let's select this. Say next. Terrific. Say next. Ask for the license. Say yes and finish. And it's going to install the plugin. It's going to warn me that it's unsigned content. Don't worry about that. Hit OK. After this, it may ask me to restart Eclipse. It may not. It does. So I'm going to restart Eclipse, let, the, let this run for a second or two, and I'll have Eclipse restarted. There we go. And if I go back to Windows Install New Software, excuse me, Help Install New Software, and go to Already Installed, I should see another thing installed, Object Day Class Diagram. Cool. Close this. Cancel out of this. I'm going to see if it actually worked. I'm going to say new Java, not new project, new Java project. Sorry about that. New Java project. Test project. Next. I'm not making any changes. Just finish. And it gave me, it should give me a test project with just a source directory. I'm going to create a new class. And I'm going to ask for the constructor for it. Uh, type name is empty. What is that about? I shouldn't have done that. Let's say, try that again. New <laughs> class. There we go. Okay, I'm going to ask for the constructor. Okay, just have a Java class. And it, it creates with my uh, statements, my Java class. I right click this and I should say, I should be able to say new uh, other. There we go, class diagram. Next. And I'm not going to change anything. I'm going to say class diagram. There we go. This is the plugin that you just installed. I should have a new class diagram there. Let's take a look to see what would happen if... Didn't want to do that. Let's say... That's what I'm trying to do. There we go. Okay. So you see that I was able to drag a class over to the class diagram and it automatically diagrams it for me. We'll definitely get into more about diagramming later, but I know it worked. This installation was successful. 
uh, the next video is going to go on to the next installation. Thank you.